character name, Raxus, Solar Soldier and the Black Sun. Originally debuted July 2011. Overall look and changes. Raxus was originally built as an entry for the 2011 BioCup on mock pages. His character was originally conceptualized by a friend of mine, which I later decided to build as an entry into the contest. This was during the second round of the BioCup, and the build theme was Flying Toa. This build of Raxus had two swords and three jetpacks on his back to fit with the theme, but after the BioCup, I updated him to remove the jetpacks and swords and add his signature plasma guns. Later, the CCBS system premiered in Hero Factory Wave 2.0, and I used shells from Evo to streamline the limb designs. Raxus's design remained basically unchanged until August 2017, when his second form, the Black Sun, debuted on the same day as the summer 2017 solar eclipse. This form served two purposes, the first to give Raxus a ton more uniqueness and character, and the second to return to the original concept of Flying Toa from the 2011 BioCup. I hinted at this in the Black Sun teaser, where Raxus says, See ya in round two. Here's the evolution of Raxus's design up to this point. Character Bio Titles and Occupations Raxus is a Toa of Plasma, which is an uncommon elemental power in the Matoran universe. He was discovered by the Order of Matanui after an incident involving Flandrix occurred, which decimated a large portion of the Order. Because of this incident, Helrix had to change the Order's policy against recruiting Toa and Matoran to stand a chance against the rising threat of the Brotherhood of Makuta. Order of Matanui's spies were spread across the Matoran universe in search of Matoran and Toa with unique or useful powers to recruit and restore the Order's numbers. Raxus was one of these Matoran. The Order recruited him and transformed him into a Toa. He was then placed in the military division of the Order, which is led by Toa Regron. Raxus excelled in his training, and eventually became the top soldier in the Order's military. There, he earned the nickname Solar Soldier for having both a fiery element and personality. Personality Raxus is a loyal, enthusiastic soldier in the Order, and he has great respect for the Order's leadership. He's somewhat quirky too, lightly playing the comic relief character in the story. He's also a sucker for big guns and bigger explosions, but beware, he may also explode on you if he gets too agitated. Later in his life, Raxus would lose part of his right arm and leg in a battle with Flandrix, thus crippling his usefulness as a foot soldier. The Order had to place him on guard duty while he recovered. There, he would lose most of his enthusiasm for the Order's cause. This was likely due to a recent change in Order leadership and a certain corruptive influence. Abilities and Powers Raxus is a stronger than average Toa of Plasma, which allows him to create, control, and absorb plasma and plasma energy. He can fire blasts of plasma from his hands, but typically prefers to channel his powers through his weapons. Toa of Plasma usually have orange and white armor colors, but Raxus had his armor colors changed to better fit his personality after joining the Order of Matanui. Important Possessions Raxus wields two plasma guns. One is a pistol, and the other is a shotgun. These weapons channel Raxus's elemental powers into highly accurate blasts of plasma energy. He's also known to occasionally wield one of the standard issue grenade launchers containing the armor-dissolving virus used by the Order against the Brotherhood of Makuta. In his Black Sun form, Raxus has a prosthetic pegged leg, which is armed with a small rocket for emergencies only. He also modified a powerful Order of Matanui machine into a cannon arm and a wing pack. His wing pack grants him the ability to fly, and he can also fire plasma energy from the barrels at the end of the wings. The weapon mounted on his arm is a top-secret Order of Matanui machine, which was their best attempt at reverse engineering Mars's Master Spark. While heavily modified, this is the same machine Karzani used to cause the dimensional rift that brought Luna Magna and hundreds of powerful artifacts into this universe. Even though its size is massive, it can only nearly amplify energy at the same rate as the Master Spark. Raxus wears a Kanohi Hao, the Great Mask of Shielding. Mock Analysis Inspiration and Theme Raxus was originally designed with no real inspiration, as his colors, mask, and element were all selected by a friend of mine. 
However, his black sun form is directly inspired by yet another Toho Project character, Utsuo Reuji. The wings, gun arm, and peg leg parallel Utsuo's, and they both have a lot of association with suns and energy. Raxus's solar soldier form uses the theme Apparitions Stalk the Night, which is the theme for Rumia, another Toho character. In his black sun form, Raxus uses Utsuo's theme Solar Sect of Mystic Wisdom, Nuclear Fusion. Raxus's version of this theme is a rock slash techno remix made by Counterfeit. Mock Features Raxus has a connection point on his back to store his pistol when not in use. There's also an exposed pin on his back where his wing pack attaches. Raxus's wings can fold down into this shape, which, when combined with his cannon arm, transforms into the Order of Matanui's top secret machine. Raxus stands 8.5 inches tall and 4.5 inches wide in his solar soldier form and roughly 9 inches tall and 10.5 inches wide in his black sun form. Mock Articulation Overall, Raxus has 15 points of articulation in his solar soldier form and 27 points of articulation in his black sun form. He has a full range of ankle mobility, a 45 degree knee bend or a slightly greater than 90 degree bend in his peg leg, full hip mobility, full head articulation, ball joint mounted shoulder pads which can be posed independently, a wide range of shoulder mobility hindered in the front and back, an almost 45 degree bend in the elbow or a full swivel and less than 90 degree bend on his cannon arm, full wrist mobility, optional detail articulation on several points of the cannon, two ball joint articulations and three pin joint swivels on each wing. Interesting building techniques. Raxus uses a heavily modified version of my so-called simple custom torso design, which typically utilizes two metro leg pieces on a double socket connector to make up most of the upper torso. It's a design that I've used on several mocks, including Gameth, Helrix, and the time-traveling Makuta. Notable flaws. Raxus is one of the few mocks I have not given custom hands to. I hope to change this in the future, but several of his weapon designs will need to change to adapt to the new connection points. Though his design is extremely cohesive, Raxus's limb construction is the simplest of all my mocks. While I have no plans yet, there may come a time when I am unsatisfied with his simple limbs and decide to go custom with them. Fun Facts Raxus is not the only character who was designed by a friend of mine. Minus was designed by the brother of the friend who designed Raxus, so I decided to add a little bit of duality between Minus and Raxus's titles, one being the Solar Soldier and the other being the Lunar Officer although their characters share no real relation in the story. Overall thoughts and criticisms. Raxus wasn't always one of my favorite mocks, but after adding some Toho-inspired flair, he's now up there as one of my favorites. He never really takes center stage in Night of Nights, but I look forward to writing his character development throughout the series, and I hope you look forward to future appearances from this blazing star of a character. What would you rate this mock out of 10? Any questions about the build or the character? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.